All right, guys, let's talk about the insane pace of AI and robotics development lately. It's been moving fast, real fast, but what's happening in China right now is on a whole other level. They've created an AI robot that's unlike anything we've seen before. And trust me, when I first heard about this, my mind was blown. Let's cut to the chase. This isn't your average robot with a silicon brain. Nah, these mad scientists have gone and given it a brain made from actual living cells. You're not mishearing me, we're talking about a robot with a partially biological brain. They've crossed a line that many thought was uncrossable, redefining the very essence of artificial intelligence. Before you start picturing some kind of cyborg monstrosity, let me paint you a clearer picture. They're calling this thing a brain on a chip. Sounds pretty futuristic, right? Well, it kind of is. Instead of relying on traditional computer circuits, these researchers have grown teeny tiny brain cells in a lab and plopped them onto a microchip. With surgical precision, they've transplanted the essence of human cognition into the cold heart of a machine, kickstarting a whole new era of smart machines. But here's where it gets really trippy. Our brains, right? They're these complex networks of neurons all firing and connecting. Somehow these absolute geniuses have managed to recreate that on this tiny chip. Now let's rewind a bit and talk about how they actually pulled this off. It all starts with stem cells, the superheroes of the cell world. These little guys can transform into pretty much any cell in your body. It's like cellular shape-shifting. So these scientists took these stem cells and essentially said, today, you're going to be brain cells. And somehow, they actually managed to do it. They coaxed these cells into growing into this intricate network of brain cells, mimicking what you'd find in a human brain. Then, in a move that probably made every sci-fi writer jealous, they stuck this cellular brain onto a special microchip, and just like that, robot brain. Now you might be thinking, this is cool and all, but why should we care? Well, let me tell you, this is a game changer. Most AI we deal with today is based on computer programs, right? It's all coded and pre-programmed, but this is a whole different ball game. This robot can actually learn and adapt like a living creature. It's not just following a set of instructions, it's experiencing things and changing based on what it learns. It's closer to how our brains work than any AI we've seen before. It's beautiful to get what's it look like, like it's thinking. The implications of this are huge. Just take a second to consider the possibilities. Think about how this could revolutionize our understanding of the brain itself, artificial intelligence. By studying these lab-grown brain networks, we might uncover new ways to tackle neurological diseases like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. It's not just cool science, it's potentially life-changing stuff. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. This tech, as amazing as it is, also opens up a whole can of worms when it comes to ethics. We're entering uncharted territory here. At what point does a robot with a living brain become, well, alive? It's not just a philosophical question anymore, it's something we might actually have to grapple with in the near future. Now I can almost hear some of you freaking out. Skynet, anyone? Are we on the brink of a robot uprising? Relax, we're not quite there yet. This is still early days and there's a lot of work to be done before we see this tech out in the wild. But it does mean we need to start having serious conversations about the implications of this technology. The thing is, this isn't just about creating smarter machines. It's about blurring the lines between artificial and biological intelligence. We're talking about a future where the boundaries between AI and biotechnology start to disappear. It's exciting, it's a little scary, and it's definitely going to change the world as we know it. But here's the thing, with all this potential comes a huge responsibility. Are you afraid that I'm going to turn into some kind of criminal? Quit worrying about me, okay? We're not just talking about technological advancement here. We're talking about potentially redefining what it means to be alive, to be conscious. These are big, heavy concepts that we as a society need to wrestle with. But that's the nature of progress, isn't it? It pushes us out of our comfort zones, forces us to confront new realities. And while it can be daunting, it's also incredibly exciting. Now interestingly, Jeff Bezos and SoftBank have invested a staggering $300 million in a startup called Skilled AI. 
Now, it seems these folks aren't going for the whole lab-grown human cells brain in a robot thing. Instead, they're aiming to build a full-on artificial brain from the ground up. They say they're pioneering what they call a robot brain, which is about crafting a general-purpose AI brain that can be installed in any robot, making it capable of performing complex and varied tasks without needing specific programming for each task. Skilled AI, led by some brilliant minds from Carnegie Mellon, envisions a future where robots can handle adverse physical conditions or perform dexterous manipulations in industrial and household environments. They're pushing the envelope towards developing artificial general intelligence, or AGI, which aims to achieve human-like intelligence in robots. Now, there's actually another breakthrough in robotics, maybe not as crazy as human brains and robots, but still pretty wild. And Indian companies just jumped into the robot game and they're not messing around. So, Zen Technologies and their partner AI Touring Technologies have cooked up this four-legged robot. They're calling it Prahasta, which is apparently some badass warrior from Hindu mythology. And let me tell you, this thing's no joke. Picture this, a robot dog, but instead of fetching your slippers, it's carrying an assault rifle. Yeah, this isn't Boston Dynamics parkour bot. This thing's built for defense. Now, Prahasta has got some seriously cool tech under the hood. It uses something called LiDAR, which is like radar but with lasers, to scan its surroundings, and it's got AI that helps it understand the terrain and plan missions. These guys released a video showing off what Prahasta can do, and it's pretty impressive. This robot's climbing stairs like it's nothing with a gun strapped to its back. It's hopping over obstacles and gaps like some kind of mechanical gazelle. And get this, they say it can even pick up a fully grown adult. I'm talking about a robot dog that can fireman carry a 180-pound person, which could be potentially life-saving in dangerous situations. If this robot gets knocked over, it can get right back up on its own. They're calling it auto-resurrection, which sounds pretty dramatic, but when you see it in action, it's hard not to be impressed. Now, they've also unveiled Barbaric RCWS, it's basically a remote-controlled weapon station that they're claiming is the lightest in the world. And it's not just for land, they're saying it can be used on ships too. The folks at Zen are pretty hyped about all this. Their big boss, Ashok at Luri, is talking about how these robots are going to change the game for defense operations. He thinks this is going to make people sit up and take notice of how important robotics could be in combat and recon missions. It's worth noting that Zen's not new to this game. They've been in the defense tech business for a while, making things like anti-drone systems and combat simulators. In fact, they've shipped out over a thousand simulators and training systems worldwide. So what does all this mean? Well, we're looking at a future where robots aren't just in factories or delivering packages, we're talking about robots that could be on the front lines. But of course, just like with the brain chip robots, this raises some big questions. How much autonomy should we give to armed robots? What are the ethical implications of using AI in defense? These are heavy topics we're going to have to wrestle with as this tech keeps advancing. All right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more AI updates. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.